on NBC6. So make sure you're up early with us Sunday morning. Thanks so much for waking up with us here on your Thursday. 627 is your time. We appreciate you joining us, South Florida. I'm Chris Anderson. And I'm Sherry Mara, and I'm here because our Constance Jones is across the pond. And of course, we are another day closer to our Miami Dolphins facing off with the defending champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, right here on NBC6. Yes, yeah, Sunday morning, 9:30 kickoff. We're gonna have pregame coverage and all of that for you. But Constance is all the way over in Germany to follow the team overseas as they prepare a lot of excitement building up this morning. And for those who don't know, Constance, you're actually in your birthplace. You were born in Germany. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually born just a few miles south from here in Frankfurt. Uh, so yeah, this is super exciting for me. I still have family here in Germany, of course. Uh, I was born here and uh, my mother is from here. So uh, this whole week is exciting. It's a homecoming for me in, in many ways. Uh, I also lived in Würzburg, which is about 45 minutes away from here near the military base. So all of this very exciting as we're leading up to the game, telling the stories of the community and the American influence of the people here in Germany. But one thing we're delving into in just a few moments is the stereotypes, some of the generalizations about the German culture. A lot of folks think that yodeling is a big thing in Germany, which it is a little bit. And Oktoberfest, a big thing in America, maybe not so big here in Deutschland. We're going to have more details about all of that in just a few minutes. Yeah, excited to dive into it. We're getting a glimpse right now of just how busy it is, too, yeah. in that area as well. And how cold it is. Yeah. See Constance all bundled up. <laughs> she still doesn't have her dollar store gloves that she forgot. Yeah. Left them in the hotel. Hopefully she can get them later. But speaking of the weather. Yeah, let's check in with First Alert meteorologist Adam Burke.